happy Friday. It's about three o'clock. I just ran outside. Wow. There's a lot there's a lot happening right now. So first of all, this face. I was playing with a new product. Well, a lot of new products, but specifically on my cheeks. I think it may oxidize. We all know that I have a heavy hand with blush, but I think that it's not just my fault. <laughs> So I just ran outside to say hi to the boys after school. They are going with dad. I'm waiting for Parker to get home. We're gonna go do our taxes. Not looking forward to that. I thought if I feel good about how I look, then my taxes appointment with my accountant won't feel so bad. I'm not feeling very hopeful anymore. <laughs> and then tomorrow, Mateo has a baseball game. And then Sunday, we're gonna go watch the Super Mario Brothers movie, which I'm so excited about because if y'all are 80s babies, you grew up with Mario, so like you you have to. There's no other way. There's no other way than you have to go see the Mario movie. I have a ton of dishes to do, uh, and so I hope it's okay if if I put you here. All right. So the lighting isn't optimal, but that way we can talk. So yeah, if you guys grew up in the '80s, man, you know that Mario's where it's at. My brother specifically, he got the whole experience. He didn't get the Pong, Pong or Pog experience or the Atari. I think that was a little bit, that was like more Parker's time. But Nintendo, man, woof. I still remember having the Game Boy. My dad found a Game Boy, the classic one, the gray one, with no lid for the batteries on the back. So we went to the swap meet. We would go to the swap meet every Sunday. Did any of you guys go to the swap meet? If you guys are unfamiliar, I grew up in San Diego the National City Swap Meet, the Spring Valley Swap Meet, or Kobe's Swap Meet, which is at the sports arena. Those were our stomping grounds. So my dad actually found an original Game Boy at the Swap Meet, and the reason they were selling it is because it was missing the battery back. So like the, the, the little lid, I guess, that holds the batteries in place. So my dad was like, oh my God, this is epic. And you guys know, we grew up super, 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 definitely without dishwashers. Uh, we grew up pretty, I mean, food bank lines. And so this is a big deal, my brother having a Game Boy. And I remember my dad getting home. My dad's MacGyver, you give him a, like a piece of gum, a paper clip and a feather and he'll fix anything in your house. And so he got home and he cut out this like perfect piece of cardboard and a piece of tape and boom, you had a working Game Boy. <laughs> so that's, that's the update for now. So it's about three o'clock. At four o'clock is our appointment. And then I think we're gonna go eat afterwards and then come home. Tomorrow, Mateo has a baseball game. Not sure what time. No, I'm exactly sure what time. It's in the afternoon. So not sure what we're gonna do before then. We don't really have any plans this weekend. I know Parker's on call, so we can't really do anything crazy. You know we're wild, right? Like, you know, we're absolutely out of control and uh, we're not gonna be able to do that this weekend because he's on call. And then Sunday, the movie, and that's it. I mean, that's all I got on deck. At some point I need to edit and post videos and stuff, but is anyone else excited about the um, Sephora sale? I think when you see this vlog, it'll be over. I think. So it starts today, the 14th, and it runs until the 21st, 22nd, the 22nd, next Saturday. So yeah, when you, when I post, I think when I post this vlog, it'll be the last day of the sale. So I'm, what's in my cart? Like what I want to get, what I'm not getting, but if I had money, what I would be getting. So it's just one of those seasons in life, you know? I mean, Ernie cleaned me out. So we are in recovery mode right now, but you know what is the best part? Is that even though she was diagnosed with cancer, even though she had a surgery that was a total fail, she actually hasn't filled up with fluid. And it's been almost a month now, I wanna say, maybe a month since her surgery was scheduled. Actually, I think today is exactly a month. Let me double check. Yeah, today's the 14th, her surgery was on the 13th. And since then, we have not had to tap her. She hasn't filled with fluid. She is so happy, so excited. She's a happy dog, like she's our dog again. So 
I don't know, man. I think when she was under, she really, she had a date with Jesus. I know I've been having a lot of hardcore one-on-one -on -one time with him and we're struggling a bit. We are struggling. We're having one of those, uh, one of those seasons of forging. If you don't know what forging is, it's like, uh, I think when you're trying to make a knife or a sword or anything sharp, the amount of times that you have to put it through the fire and bang it to get it sharp and to get it to where you want it is like a million times. And so we're having a, we're having a season of forging right now and, and you know, it is what it is. Do you want to see my dress? I'm deflecting right now. My therapist would say, stop deflecting. You deflect with humor. Look at that. Ta-da! Don't look at my underwear. So I got this dress for a Cancun trip that we were gonna take, that we did take a year or two ago, and I never ended up packing it. And it's just been hanging in my closet just for the next time we go to Cancun. And I'm like, who said this was a Cancun dress? Like, does it have a label on it that says only wear in Cancun? Illegal to wear otherwise? So I was like, today, that I'm gonna wear it today's the day. Even though it's raining, even though I'm going to my accountant, even though we have no plans and we're not having a date, I wanted to wear it today. Do you guys ever feel that way where you're like, today I'm gonna to get cute? Because it's the only cute thing about my day today. <laughs> and we still struggle bust it, but that's what happens when you try all new products. Anyway, I gotta finish these dishes before Parker gets here because we are gonna run out of time, we're gonna be late for our accountant, and that is not a good look. I love you. Happy Saturday. It is almost nine o'clock. So Ernie was so kind that she let us sleep in an extra five minutes. Yep. She's putting out the vibe today. She's like, mom, I appreciate you. I'm gonna let you sleep in a whole five minutes. It was 7.05 and she's like, it's after breakfast time. <laughs> Started freaking out. It was really cute. So of course, naturally, now that we don't have like that responsibility to get up for Wesley anytime like the girl dogs really need us, cause they're like righteously independent. Anytime they show any semblance that they need us, we're like, okay, what do you want baby? Like right now? <laughs> right now we're like rushing to breakfast cause we want to rush home to walk her and take her on the trail and see if, you know, she has fun, you know, finding squirrels and stuff. Anyway, I didn't check in with you guys last night because we went to my accountant and then, and then we cried and then we went to In-N-Out and then we cried a little bit more. But then we had some margaritas, so that made it all better. I'm just kidding, we didn't cry, but you know, every time I see my accountant, I'm like, this is, this is why people don't like being self-employed. Also, this is why people do tax evasion. <sighs> but it was a good, it was a good wrap up to the day. Sunburn, am I sunburned? Sunburn. What are you gonna have for breakfast? Are you on the menu? And mom, I'm on the chef special. You just gotta ask for the chef special. All organic. Where? <laughs> Things just got weird. We are at Frisco Diner. It's like the spot. When we don't wanna decide or say, what do you feel like? What are you in the mood for? We're like, you know, let's go to the spot. I'll show you guys. Have you seen it? There's a really cute, like, Korean stationery store next door. You see Treasure Box? There's a lot of little fun stuff there. And then that's the place we had burgers one time. I think it's called Wolf. Wolf Burger. Wolf Burger. But yeah, Frisco Diner if you ever want breakfast. Hello, ma'am. See, everyone everyone walks out so happy. But that's it. That's what's on deck today. Me not brushing my ponytail. Us eating breakfast. Oh. <laughs> also, I told Parker that the mulch we like is on sale today. It's on Black Friday sale. I know it's, no, it's not November. It's called Spring Black Friday for Home Depot. So the mulch that we get is usually four bucks. It's $2. So I put on stretchy pants, he put on shorts, and we're gonna load up my car, or as Parker would say, my vehicle, with with black mulch. And we're excited because it's on sale, and now that I say it out loud, I realize that- These are the things you get excited about when you're 40. Yeah, so we should start, you guys and I and us, we should start like a running, ongoing list of, this is how I realized I was getting older. You know, like when Mateo asked me to fix something on his iPad and then I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know how to do this. So I, that's, that was one, that was one example. Another example is we're excited that mulch is on clearance. Another example is when your arm starts to not be long enough 
when you're trying to look at a screen. There you go. All right, so that's your homework for right now. While we eat pancakes, you guys have to tell me, this is how I learned I was getting old. Got it? I love you. You guys, it's about 12 o'clock, holy crap. So we bought 20 bags of mulch, which is actually a really small amount. They were telling us that people are coming in buying 40, 50, 60 bags. I'm like, where do you put them? We had to put down the three rows in my car. One, two, two, two rows, sorry. Wow, two rows in my car and we got 20, we got 20 in. Like comfortably, we could have probably put like 10 more in, but it was like, wow, what do you do with all this mulch? So our plan was to get home, mulch, walk Mern, you know, take her on the trail, let her meet some friend, some friends on the road, because if you walk the trails in her neighborhood, like everyone's dogs are in the backyard when it's a beautiful day. So it, like she makes friends, I make friends. <laughs> we got home. We unloaded the mulch. We took Ernie on a walk. I'm so proud of that little girl, man. She just rallied. She's outside getting a bath right now, and we're debating, because we have a game at 3.45, Mateo's baseball game. We're debating, we're like, so should we like lay out in the sun and just take advantage of this day, or should we start mulching? I'm like, why don't we put on our bathing suits and mulch? But th that would be a little, that'd be a little weird. So anyway, I was about to do something for Ernie, and I was like, why don't I show my pandas? They might find this useful. Not sure, might not be something that you find interesting at all. Maybe you don't even have a dog. So if you guys have a really anxious, needy, yelpy, energetic, high-strung dog, like Mamern. Okay, so if you have a crazy, super hyper dog, they have these sort of like dog puzzles that you can buy for them. The funny thing is that we bought two. We bought this one. Actually, let me get the other one. So we got this one and we got this one and I, I haven't taken this one out because it makes me feel some type of way. It makes me really sad. Anyway, we bought these two puzzles for Ernie because she is fidgety and anxious and needs mental as well as physical stimulation. And so with these little puzzles, they kind of rotate with their snout and find little treats. And so this one has these lids that have like the holes so you put it on and then they learn to flip it and then they, they kind of sprinkle out. They don't all dump out because it never stays. Like it never stays upside down, so they don't all fall out, they just kind of flip. So they learn to flip it at a certain pace to get the sprinkle, the little sprinkle treats to come out. Uh, we bought them for her and she started to freak out. She would yell at us and be like, what the heck, man? Like yell, bark, 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 bark. Like, get me the treats out, get the treats out. Like what the heck? She'd just freak out. She got more anxious because she couldn't figure it out and she just wanted us to give them to her. Meanwhile, Wesley, you know, this wasn't too long ago. He was already in his final stages. He was completely blind again. He was totally deaf. He would come up to this puzzle and be like, treat, 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 treat. And in like 10 minutes, he found all the treats. And he would just, like he knew, like I was made for this, no big deal. So uh, it just, it's it's been hard for me to take it out. Just silly things like that since he's, so his loss is so big, you know, like the presence is such a big gaping hole, you know, back to back to lose our two little boys. So it was just hard. But, you know, the other day I was like, you know, Mern, you get a second chance. You got to figure this out. I mean, you're smart. She's such a brilliant dog. So I took out this guy. I haven't I haven't done this one with her because it's super frustrating, which I don't know. I mean, to me, this one seems a lot more exciting than like just the, you know, <laughs> So we haven't done this one, but I just took this one out, sprinkled a couple treats, left it out, and she was like, bam, bam, bam. She was like a pro. 
So I think we're gonna encourage that. And all I do is put training bites in it. So training bites are a good option because they're so small. So you're really not fattening them up. You're not giving them a bunch of crab to eat because they're tiny, tiny little bites. They're like the size of toy breed kibble. You're like a, a calorie per chew. So 1.5 calories per treat chicken flavor, no corn, soy, or artificial flavors. So anyway, that's what it is. I think we have a couple, here's the other flavor Martin likes. These are the bacon ones. So these are really good size. Also, if you go to like a PetSmart, I think they're called Jacks or Jack Bites, Jacks, whatever. I'll link them down below as well. Those are really good options for uh, toys like this because you're not really loading them up with crappy food and they're entertained so like if you have to go out and run errands for a while or you have to go to work and you leave your dog home it might be cool to hide some of these puzzles around the house i put maybe like eight or ten in every tube but if you're watching your dog at home you could just get away with doing five and it's just it's so entertaining to watch them and you can hear when they're having fun or when they're using it because you hear like the little or she just starts barking at you and freaking out. But eventually they figure it out. So I think one, it just it just clicked one day for Mern and now she's like a little expert flipper. So I'll try and catch her later. I'm just gonna put this down and if I ever hear her kind of messing around with it, I'll try and show you guys what it looks like. But basically, let me see if I don't make a mess. So they come over and they're like, boom. Did you see that? You literally, one sprinkle at a time. And so it's like motivating. They're like, oh wait, I can get one. Let me do it again. Oh, oh. What, two? Oh my God, two! And then they just keep going and going and they figure out there's two more little containers and it's a riot. The other thing is they come in different sizes. So for bigger dogs, smaller dogs, the lids also come in different sizes. So this specific toy that I'll link for you guys has uh, another set of lids. She knows I'm talking about her. It has another set of lids and it just has one hole in the middle. And that would be for bigger treats, like if you have a bigger dog, or treats that are like an odd shape, like these are like little, little pyramids. Those don't actually fit through these holes. Even though they're similar in size, they don't come through as easily as those little round ones. So if you have odd shaped or like a bigger dog and you need bigger treats that would actually motivate them, then you know, you have lids. And I think it was, I honestly don't remember how much it cost, but uh, we bought these for her when we noticed she was starting to get really anxious because we pulled her out of, of camp. She would go to, to daycare, like camp, to just play with other big dogs to really, you know, uh, get at her exercise and make friends and socialize. But after she got sick and was like super bloated, she just, she was miserable going to camp. She wasn't happy. She just wasn't happy anymore or sparkly. So we got her these and didn't do the trick. But now since she came home, she's like, where my treats at? Almost seven o'clock. 
we just got home. We went to Mateo's game. They played super well, they won. They're still undefeated, which is super exciting. And we sat in the sun the whole time. It was pretty exhausting. But you know what is not exhausting? Look at this. Do you remember I told you we went to Home Depot? Well, we went to Home Depot twice. We got 40 bags of mulch. I was talking so much crap about people getting 40 bags of mulch and we just ended up doing it in two trips. But Parker has a rule where every time we go to Home Depot, he has to get a new tool. And this was hanging on the shelf. And I was like, oh my goodness, that's not real. He's like, yeah, it's a, it's a real tool. And I was like, well then how come I don't have it? So now I do. <laughs> It's a little tiny pl it's a plier, right? Do you call the plier? Yeah, it's a pair of pliers. Channel lock pliers. Look at you. Look how little. It's like a bubble plier. But I think we broke the Home Depot rule because it seems as though there might be more than one here. Uh, I'm a little uh, I'm a little behind. I made a few trips and didn't buy any, so I gotta catch up. Do you wanna tell everybody what happened at the sushi restaurant, you slut? Uh you ate more rolls than I did. That's, it's not, that's, it's not that's not what I'm talking about. Are you talking about the compliment I received on my shirt? Yeah. Yeah, I had several compliments. You got two compliments today, right? Yeah, what did. was the other compliment? I don't remember. Was it at the baseball game? Somebody said something game. about your shirt, and I was like, mm hmm. Well, the baseball game and uh, the sushi place is the only places I wore, I wore it. it so, yeah. yeah, we walked into the sushi, sushi and restaurant, and the wife was like, nice shirt. Is that newspapers? You just want to read them? And I was like, you better slow down and talk about my dress a little bit. Stop reading my husband. Yes, <laughs> stop reading. I was like, you know, you should, you should be like, I like your dress. And then I could have been like, thank you. My dress is from Amazon. And it was, I think they, I think it's on clearance because these were $30 last summer. This year they're 18. So I'm not sure if they're getting rid of them or they're bringing new colors, but you guys like, look, it's like, it's like wearing nothing. It's so comfy and stretchy and breezy and comfortable and awesome. So I was hoping she would say something about, about my dress, but instead she noticed Parker's $10 Walmart shirt. A lot of you guys actually asked if he liked this one because in the footage, I only showed you him trying on the other two. And I was like, no, he actually tried this one on too, but he, he walked off camera. So I just cut the footage, but yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Take it all in. Take it all in. Do you want to take off your belt? I'm not wearing one. Do you? Because <laughs> I'm a slut. <laughs> you slut. Actually, we're totally going to put one of our pandas on blast. All right, you guys. There you go. Green tortoise. Shout out to green tortoise. So at some point, either today or tomorrow, I'm going to need some footage of you just removing your belt. Just, just casually, you know. Just, you know, just nonchalantly. Just nonchalantly. Just, you know, taking off your off belt. belt. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can you do, do that, that? For, yeah. for our friend Tortoise. Anything for the pandas, right? <laughs> what about you? Do you support this idea? Have you had a good day? Wasn't the pantry door closed? <laughs> you just had dinner, Parker. How long ago did you feed her dinner? Literally, literally. Seven minutes ago. <laughs> What's in there? What are you trying to get? Can you show me? What do you want specifically? You want a pretzel? No, show me again. Show me. Show me. Show me. You want a pretzel? You can't have a pretzel. She's like, okay, fine. How about this? Oh, okay. One last time. Third time's a charm. Show me what you want. Milk bone. Oh, okay. All right, we can do that. We can do that. You know why? You know why we can do it? Because you're cute. We get some Mern footage. Do you want to pick your own flavor? Don't, don't trip me. Don't trip me. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get eager beaver on me. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Hey, do you want? No. Bacon? Or sausage? Bacon? Okay. Bacon! Put your taco down. You don't put your taco on the internet. So does anyone else have an extremely highly motivated, like food motivated dog? Then that's literally the only reason they exist is to eat. That's Mern, which is really interesting because 
since we adopted her, she's been food motivated and she's never been chunky. Like, what? What are you doing in there? You already got what you asked for. Come on out. Thank you. No, ma'am, out. Out. See, now it's closed. That's it. We're done. We're done. Are you happy? She's like, no. You're holding out on me. The milk bone box was still full. And you're lying. How about you grow your hair faster? You wanna grow back your hair faster? Cause you still have a, you still have a naked neck. You do. Oh, what's the matter? Mine. Mine. Where's Daddy? Right there? Is he holding out on you too? There is no more food. You guys are thinking about something else. It's all it's ever on your mind. Food. Oh, she's like, okay, let's see, let's see. Nothing? No? Let's go for an adventure, come on. Let's go see if we can find some more, come on. Come on, show me. Where else do we have some? Where else do we have some? Is there some over here? No? Oh, you want me to put your bowl right there? You, you just ate. You just ate. You did. You did. Look at this coolness. So our neighbors, Edema and AJ, gave us this cool little, I think it's Zevo. Bless you. It's a little Zevo light. So it's kind of like those lights that zap bugs, except it doesn't zap. Excuse you, ma'am. It doesn't zap. It just attracts them to the light, and then they get stuck. Let's see if we have any. Do we have any victims? Oh, can you see? Can you see the little victims in there? There they are. And then once it gets full, then you just change it out. Plus the light is really cool. It looks like blue flame. Yeah, like deadly blue flame. You guys, happy Sunday. It is 1.30. We just got home, so we saw the boys this morning. We took them to the movie, but co-parent asked if he could take them to lunch with his mom and sister, and I was like, yeah, you know what? We bought the tickets in advance, so we're gonna have to go to the movie, but after the movie, we'll bring them. You're looking at my shirt, don't you? Yeah. Get a life. We will drop them back off and you guys can go have lunch and just bring them back later. So Parker and I just got home and I'm about to do some uh, dinner prep and just kind of catch up on our day. Get ready to start the week off strong. But if you guys were on the fence about seeing the Mario movie, it is so good. For me to say that, I wasn't bored once. I didn't let my mind wander as I sat there for two hours. The movie was so good. All people like ages, whatever, would love this movie. I think especially if you're familiar with the brand and all of the Super Mario worlds and the characters and the roles they play, they did such a good job at like tying in all of the characters and the themes and the music. It was brilliant. But I think that's all we got for this vlog, you guys. I know it was a little slow and uh, different, but it's, it's what we got. It's the best we could do for this weekend. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Anything that we did, anything we ate, anywhere we went, you know the drill. It will be listed in the description box of this video. Uh, but I think that's it, you guys. I love you so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. Mine. Where it, oh, we got some more nice little white socks there, yeah. Where's my, say bye to your friends. Say bye friends, say bye my friends. I'll see you later alligators. Yes I will, yes I will. Mern, hey, look at me, look at, oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Say bye friends, say bye friends. Oh, all right, well, you know, let's do a little side action then. There it is. Mwah.